and we're catching up backstage, the Rocky Horror Show. Uh, coming to Melbourne, it's already had a very successful run in Sydney. Uh, Paul Capsis, Tamsin Carroll, uh, Magenta and Riff Raff. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, you do that so well. Brother and sister in the worst way. Yes. <laughs> now, uh, Tamsin, you've uh, you've had a very interesting couple of months, in fact, last couple of years in the, uh, in the theatre circuit. Uh, there's been Dusty. There's been Shout, mm-hmm. and now the Rocky Horror. Yeah, well, I've been I've been lucky enough to do a couple of um, original Australian works like Shout and Dusty, and it's kind of nice to do a classic now, yeah. sort of, uh, and it'd go a bit wild. You go a bit wild. Yeah. I would imagine, you know, you wouldn't want to, uh, you know, misplace that character and come out as Dusty in the Rocky Horror <laughs> Show, would you? I have Could a we... feeling Dusty would quite like to have been in the Rocky Horror <laughs> Show, though. So I think she thoroughly approves. Yeah, Paul, you've got some uh, pretty big shoes to fill because uh, in the in the role of Riff Raff. Uh, in the original version, that was Richard O'Brien who actually created the role. Yes, I deliberately steered right away from his portrayal. Is that right? Oh yeah, a completely different version. Mm-hmm. Totally reinvent the character. Well, we'll you try know, for, to. For a start, you have hair. Well, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, so Gail Edwards, our director, um, uh, deliberately went away from the film because it's so iconic, and uh, she wanted something different and with our talents and what we do, and utilising us in, in a different way, which is great. Love, love doing that with her, mm. you know, getting into the real sort of dark side of the of the piece. <laughs> when was the first time, Tamsin, that you saw the Rocky Horror Show? I never have. Really? <laughs> That's a very pointed question then, isn't it? I've seen the film. Yeah. Twice. So how do you study for the role then? What are you basing it on? Um, inventing it, as yeah, I know. Yeah, reinventing it. Yeah. Reinventing it. Yeah. Not, not reinventing it if you haven't seen it. That's right. It's totally a, right. an invention. Yeah. What about you, Paul? I've seen four different productions. Mm-hmm. Our first one I ever saw was in uh, early 80s, the Reg Livermore. They did like a Reg Livermore, the famous Frankenfurter from the 70s, returns for a week or something like that. It was one of those. And I was like, I don't know, 15. And I went and saw it and he scared the daylights out of me. <laughs> And um, then after that, I saw I was an usher at the Theatre Royal, and Daniel Abenary was was uh, Frank, and Russell Crowe was cousin Eddie and Dr. Scott, and uh, and then I saw a couple of productions after that. Yeah. yeah. You know, when you look at the cast in the movie and in the stage shows that have happened over the years, there've been some magnificent performers in there. Uh, Meatloaf for a start. Yeah, yeah. All the films incredible. I mean, the, also created by Australians, Jim Sharman and. Brian Thompson, and so there's all this connection with Australia, and and uh, I, I love the movie, I absolutely love it. But this is different, very. We've got an, an amazing ensemble. We do fantastic yeah, choreography, costumes, set design by Dale Ferguson, who's from Melbourne, and Kelly Road, who plays Janet. She's 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 a Melbourne performer. Uh, we've got Andrew Bevis, who's a, a West End performer. Well, he's Australian, but he's played a lot on the West End. Michael Cormick, who's played Sharon on the West Millichip. End. Sharon Gorgeous Millichip, Sharon Columbia, Millichip. amazing. I love. Who's that guy, Iota? He's yeah, he's like an indie somebody. rock singer, and he's yeah. just kind of just come out he's of nowhere, right. and he's just like this incredible Frank. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> it's fabulous. <laughs> he's done marvelous, but hasn't he? He has. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, Tams and Carol, I think you can't beat the live experience. I agree with you, Paul. Nothing on a TV or a computer or any of that. That's right, and it is the live Rocky Horror Show. It's not the P- Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's the, the Rocky live. Horror Show. As it was maybe, well, you know, live in 1973. Yep, and it's a new Australian production, folks, uh, coming soon to Melbourne. Uh, Paul Tamsin, thanks for joining us here at Undercover. Enjoy. Enjoy the music. Come on.